Good morning and God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout. And of course, I am Shar. And how y'all doing? I'm excited. Today is North Carolina's first official on the ground snow day because people say they saw snow a couple weeks ago, I think. But this is undeniably snow. Like we got a couple inches. So I am excited. I love snow. I know a lot of people don't. But anyway, I'm home safe and sound. My husband's home safe and sound. Thank God he actually was off today. So to God be the glory. But I have a little review for you guys. I want to show you guys something very quickly. This is a unplanned review. And that's because I did not intend to buy what I did. I wanted something else. Okay. Y'all know I've been using the... Uh, pens like this, the big intensity, like the fine point, like the 0 0.3, 0 0.4, which is okay. But then I also say, you know what? I want some regular pens, not marker pens. That is also a fine point, but I'm having trouble locally finding anything. And then I'm skeptical about buying things online because most of them don't have like free returns. So that's my issue. So I went and I bought these they were on sale actually because i one orange one was missing so instead of being ten dollars they were three dollars which i'm like i don't care uh but um i got these and they end up being jail but i do want to go ahead and quickly review these and i got something else too these are the uniball pins 0.7 and it's listed like fine clean Point. Let me go to where I actually use them. I think I use both. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I did. This one here, as you can see, that's this one. So, it is sort of clean. It almost doesn't give you the idea like it's a gel, which is kind of good, but it's still not what I'm looking for. I'm going to show you the orange. I did the orange on top of here. You probably can see that. But let's go right here. You can see that. Let's zoom in a little bit too. Like I said, it's not bad because when it dries, it definitely looks like just pen ink. However, like I said, that's not what I wanted. I want actual, that's more in the sticky note. I want an actual ink ink. But also I have another review for you guys. This right here is another pen that I just got. Let's show you right quick. This was also an accident, and I actually tried to return these, but I lost my receipt. Uh, is this the orange? Uh, I think so. Okay. It looks peach, doesn't it? <laughs> Let me make sure I didn't put it in the wrong bag. That's the only one, right? Uh... I'm almost positive this is not the orange. Maybe I had it out um, using it or something. Uh, let me see. So I also try to figure out where I want to put them. Well, anyway. That's so weird. Like, where is it? <laughs> All right. So these are like this. And these were actually listed like just pins. And they are also kind of like marker felt tilt markers like they're not pins really because this is what it looks like when I wrote out with it if you can see that and I was like no that's not what I wanted like I literally want a pen pen and when I say pen pen I mean like this kind of pen like that kind of pen not this kind of pen and these were $13 for 12 which is something that I normally definitely would not do, but it was like, okay, I want really good pens. I don't want them to bleed through, which if you can see that is a little bleed, a little shadow. So they're not even all that either. So I definitely want to turn them back in. I don't know, I still might do an exchange or something because I know they're not gonna get my money back because I do not have my receipt. But this, I mean, I love the vibrance of colors. And I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. They're called Paper Mate Flare Medium. And I'm just gonna take these out here. 
And where is, let me count how many I got. Cause maybe I'm tripping. Cause it's supposed to be 12. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so that is the orange. Oh, that's the orange. <laughs> 12. I can't see. Okay, so I do have all 12. It was just in there. All right, so this one is the one I actually use here. If you can see that. I got tape everywhere for doing my DIY tabs. Okay, so as you can see, these are really cool, vibrant colors. So if you're looking for the marker pen, you know, kind of like these but bigger because this is point uh three or four as you can see and these are point seven so they have the size of a regular pen but they write out like a marker if that does not bother you then fine like i said they are really cool vibrant colors but i want something smaller so i can write like here as you can see this is a gel pen and this gel pen is point seven and it's fine and as you can see i can write a whole lot smaller make sure it's in the camera i'm sorry smaller here than over here. And these are both 0.7. So kind of weird out by that. Like I said, $12 is a lot of money to be spending on something that you don't absolutely love. So highly considering turning them back in for sure. But I just want to give that quick review. Like I said, color wise and you know, for what they're doing, I guess they're called flare pens for, you know, the writing, like the calligraphy writing and stuff i guess there would be an idea for that but i i do want to learn that but i don't know if 12 dollars is why i want to learn that okay so just as my review my two cents so i do not i i'm not comfortable recommending any of these per se i mean well here's something you can might that might be of interest to you if you're looking to a cool gel pen as you can see, it did not bleed through. There's very faint shadowing, and I think that's only because I went over it twice because it act like it didn't want to write at first. So if you can see that and make your decision off that, that's what it looks like on this side. And then that side. And yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> Just want to get my opinion on those in case somebody was looking at them and eyeing them. There you go. I got a default uh, review. So that's all I had to say. I love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.